Firelands and Cataclysm Classic has been out for around a month now and I wanted to just give you my thoughts on its difficulty, the future of Firelands, as in should it actually see the nerfs that it saw back in the day, general difficulty and a bit of an update on how many guilds have actually cleared this content already and is 25-man heroic harder than 10-man heroic? Let's jump in. Before we do though, as always, if you play Classic Fresh at the moment and you're leveling the hard way, then be sure to pick up a Rested XP guide in the pinned comment or the description. You can use code ScottyJFresh at checkout for 15% off. It is an affiliate link, so any guides bought go towards supporting the channel, so thank you in advance for that. Now, so far, I would say Firelands has been a success, especially for a raid that's only got seven bosses, and quite honestly, in my opinion, only two or three of those bosses pose any threat to the majority of raid teams. Most raid teams probably started with Lord Ryle if heroic because it never even launched in a pre-nerf state, so it's quite an easy approachable boss to start with. To say Major Domo is the boss that drops the tier shoulders and actually is the second from last boss, it'll be the last one you see before Ragnaros. On heroic, it's long, boring, but fortunately, easy. Shannox requires a little bit of coordination between your main tank and off tank to make sure stacks are being dropped. Elistrazor is probably the one fight that your mages look forward to doing every week because you just fly around collecting rings. It's uh, it's quite fun, actually, as the person that's flying. But it's also quite fun as the tank, or tanks if you still two tank it, because you get to do ludicrous amounts of damage. Moving up a bit more in difficulty is Beftalak, but still a pretty approachable fight. And then there's the real two bosses of the raid. The first one being Balrock, which is quite RNG dependent on who's going to be getting torment between your healers. While I don't think the boss is overly difficult, it requires a good amount of coordination and understanding of how the fight actually works from everybody in your raid. Even though a good tank and having a good set of healers make this fight a lot easier, everybody needs to be aware of what they need to do. And then finally, Ragnaros, where Ragnaros is as difficult as people probably remember. And even though I would say, again, it's a very scripted fight where once you start to work through one phase at a time and get that down, it's just a matter of pulls before you actually get the kill. Many people have compared it to Lich King 0%, which I would actually say Lich King 0% was more difficult than this, purely because it was a lot more random. There's not that much that you can't control in Ragnaros where using something like Valkyrs picking your healers up on Lich King 0% back in Wrath, that was out of your control completely. Now, looking at the amount of passes per boss versus the percentage of those that result in a kill, Lord Ryanith is evidently one of the easiest bosses in here. And then really, all of the others outside of Balrock have decent kill percentages on. And then going up to Ragnaros, just under half the guilds that manage to get Balrock down are getting Ragnaros down. Now, there's some interesting facts that lie in the numbers here. When we think about 10-man versus 25 heroic, what we're looking at right here is 25-man. Now, only 3.5% of the passes have actually resulted in a kill and that totals 887 kills on Ragnaros Heroic. Now 10 player actually has a lower percentage of pulls versus kills but a slightly higher number of total kills itself. So there's over a thousand kills now on Ragnaros 10 Heroic but actually there's far more passes in 10 man Heroic than there is 25 man Heroic so the percentage of those that actually result in a kill is actually lower than 25 man Heroic. On the other hand though Balrock on 10 man is is slightly higher in terms of percentage. Although the other interesting thing to notice is actually when we look at 10 man, Beftalak seems to have a noticeably lower kill percentage and as someone who's done both 10 heroic and 25 heroic Beftalak, that definitely makes sense. Beftalak on 10 man heroic in my opinion at least is more difficult whereas I would say something like Balrock on 25 heroic is more difficult than 10 man. So it's kind of nice that actually there's no full raid comparison, you know, where you'd say all seven bosses are easier on 10 than they are 25. There's certain bosses that are harder on 10, certain bosses that are harder on 25. Or, again, that's in my experience at least. My general thoughts of the raid as a whole and how it's going so far is it is only seven bosses, and like I said at the start, only a few of those bosses are actually going to remain interesting for any great length of time. Whilst Blizzard said that they was going to extend past the original plan when it comes to the cadence of Firelands, if they notice that a lot of guilds are getting all the staves that they need, I would recommend against that because for most guilds that are clear and heroic, this is probably going to get boring after around the 12 13 week mark and for other guilds that are struggling to ever get ragnaros down at all banging your heads against that ragnaros wall 
will also get pretty tiring. So this is where I would say well done Blizzard. I think it was a really good move to make all of these encounters in their pre-nerf state. But I do think it would be a good idea to add the nerfed state maybe after 10, 12 weeks, something like that. So then them last few weeks before we're going into Dragon Soul, everybody can kind of go in and get their Ragnaros heroic kill if they were quite close to getting it down but couldn't quite finish it off. That would also mean that it becomes absolutely face roll or should I say more face roll than you already find it if you've got it on farm and kind of just makes those last few weeks just a bit of fun for everyone in general now i've seen more crazy things being done in firelands than i first expected because full disclosure i'd done quite a lot of firelands on private servers before this came out not as much firelands as probably tier 11 to be completely honest if i was to compare tier 12 to tier 11 on private servers i've probably done more tier 11 but i'd done enough to have a good understanding of all the bosses and seeing some things that are happening and just not being fixed is actually kind of mind-blowing even though in the long run they don't have a massive effect like if you haven't seen or you don't know at the moment there's even some weird cheesy strats going on for balrock where the trash will be cleared to balrock there'll be nothing between elisrazor and balrock's room you wait until the eggs come down so you get focused on by the hatchling then finishing elisrazor off up in the sky and then all running straight to Balrock and pulling it. So your tanks have got that buff from a list resort. Well, from the hatchlings. I've not tried this myself because quite honestly, we don't need to. We go in and do a pretty timely clear one shot in our way through all of these bosses on heroic now. So it's not even something we would bother wasting time on. But I've seen some logs where that is actually the case. And I was just like, really? But this is also coming from the same raid group that don't do the line of sight strat on Major Domo. We don't do the ledge strat on Shannox because quite honestly, the bosses are easy enough to not really require you to do things like that. I'm more referring to 10 man here in the 25 man that I'm in on Saturdays. We was doing the whole line of sight on Major Domo, for example, but I, I wasn't a fan. There's another issue that I've really noticed, which I don't think I'm alone here. For any of you that raid both 10 and 25 man, you've probably seen that you're either really unlucky in 25 man or there's something not quite right about crystallized firestones. In our 10 man, most weeks we we generally get three or four firestones and i mean that genuinely like normally three or four if we see less than that I'd, I'd be quite surprised whereas in the 25 mans that i do i barely see any at all so i don't know if they're bugged and 10 mans just got a higher drop chance but it's definitely something blizzard could do with having a look at and then the only other problem that i personally have with firelands is the reputation man it just takes so long when you get to revered and you want to get to exalted to get your ring and you're only getting the reputation from the bosses i mean we're on an accelerated cadence and it's going to take weeks before we get that ring and we're already currently in week four now we've done some trash farming we didn't really do full-on rep runs where we made sure we maxed out all of our rep from giants to get to revered before we started doing boss kills or anything like that because we didn't see the point so some of you may be further along than I am rep-wise, but it really feels like it's just taking a long time. I think on Heroic, they could almost do with doubling the rep from the bosses because we want to get like our items as quickly as possible, especially with the amount of loot that drops in 25 Heroic. Everybody's going to have their other ring that they need, and you're probably not going to get your last ring, so your second ring slot from the reputation, you know, until maybe a month before Dragon Soul comes, so kind of just feels a bit crap. It's nice to see that Legendary Stave started being made last week as well, so in 25 man, they're really not taking very long at all, whereas in 10 man, we're a couple of weeks behind. I've done full clears every week, and I'm probably looking at another two resets maybe before I get the staff. If I'm lucky, maybe one more reset, but realistically, probably two. So 10 man's definitely a few weeks behind, but with the way it works where it's staggered, of course, we're already working on our third staff at the moment. It's just we haven't managed to complete the first yet. So I think that's pretty good. The way they've actually done it seems pretty solid, although I have seen some complaints from some people saying that they're still on the Eternal Embers quest, where it took something like 16, 17 boss kills to actually get the 25 embers. Now, I personally haven't experienced that, and you do get quite a lot from Rag at the end because you normally get like a stack of three and then one. Or again, that's been my experience at least. So maybe some of these complaints are coming from guilds that aren't actually killing rag and getting that decent amount of embers from the end but overall it's cool that staves are being made and looking at the speed for both 10 and 25 man it would appear at first glance that most guilds will be able to get all of the staves that they need ready for dragon soul and that's the most important thing and i reckon probably in about eight weeks time maybe nine weeks time 
everybody's raid team will have all of the staves that they physically need which is why we don't really want to be waiting too long for Dragon Soul. Because you've got to remember, even Dragon Soul is only an 8-boss raid, and when we're looking at this being a 7-boss raid, and when we're looking at the numbers and saying, really, Ragnaros, Beftalak, and Balrock are kind of the only challenge on 10-man, and then Balrock and Ragnaros are the only big challenge on 25. And when I say only big challenge, I mean the ones with the lowest amount of kills. Then it kind of just doesn't need to be dragged out. The one thing I do want to end this video on really is Ragnaros in general. If you're one of the guilds that feels kind of stuck on Ragnaros, maybe you're getting to phase three or wiping in the second transition, or maybe you've even seen phase four a few times, the fight just gets so much easier with gear. And I know that sounds like a real basic thing to say because you're like, well, every boss gets easier with gear, but with Ragnaros, it's noticeable. We was one of those guilds in week one that had over 100 wipes, 150 wipes to be able to get him down for the first time because we've done no Ragnaros heroic PT are practically no one in the group had even killed Ragnaros normal on private servers or anything like that but we went from having to handle three sets of seeds during the second phase handling two meteors during phase three and phase four to now just with a few weeks of gear so much is being skipped in the first phase we was even getting four traps for the first three weeks now we only get three traps so every phase is just so much quicker. And it's one of those fights where actually the quicker the phase is, the safer it is. Because going into the last phase with only one meteor makes a hell of a big difference. On 25 man, you're probably going in with two meteors still, which is absolutely fine because you've got 25 people to handle it. Only having to deal with two sets of seeds just removes random deaths. And only having three traps definitely means you never need to worry about blowing them up as long as your trap baiters are putting them in good positions so it's kind of like don't get disheartened keep banging away at rag and you will get him down every week that you get some gear the entire fight is going to slowly become easier and easier it unfortunately is just one of those progress fights where it feels soul destroying to get to phase four and wipe and then the rest of the night you can't even get back to phase four again because of little mistakes and trust me i've had my moments of rage on discord over the last few weeks around those exact type of wipes but anyway if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe this was just kind of my feelings about Firelands as a whole. You know, after a month of it being out, I'm really looking forward to the next content patch. So obviously I'm looking forward to Dragon Soul. But at the same time, I'm really enjoying Firelands still, especially Ragnaros. In fact, I would say only Ragnaros. Again, Scotty J Fresh at checkout. Use the link in the pin comment in the description and I will see you on the next one.